Hello, boys and girls. My name is Mike Kelly. Realillusionforum.com, I think, is where I spend most of my time. Somebody asked me about um, the Groot character, <clears throat> excuse me, made, I think, from, uh, I'm not even sure where it comes from, but uh, anyway, made made for iClone, made for the, it says iClone 8 compatible. And what they, we've talked about this in the past with some other characters. Um, in, in reality, these things aren't so much compatible, but they're uh, they're either rigged the same way as iClone 8 characters, or in this particular case, it's really weird with the Groot character, it's kind of like an overall skin. Not quite a Geo skin, but just an overall piece of clothing that drapes over. And, and then the character, the original uh, iClone character is hidden. And honestly, this is one of those cases where it's just better to use other products rather than try to use Transformer to bring it in. So we're going to use Accurig, Actor, ActorCore Accurig. This is a free plugin or free program, I guess, uh, from Real Illusion. And honestly, this is the first time I've ever used it. I've never, ever even tried this. So you guys are here with me for the first time, but I just thought it would be uh, worth a try to try it with this Groot character. What I've done with Groot is uh, it's just a regular iClone character. I drug it into iClone. I'm sorry. Drug, drug, it's a regular Daz character. I'm just waking up this morning. A regular Daz character. I drug it into Daz, uh, and then I exported it as an FBX, just like we've, we've done a million times seen on this channel. So now we're going to go ahead and open this Groot character, Groot FBX, um, and this is the raw one right from Daz, so I haven't done anything to it. Uh, this is what we would normally bring in the Transformer. And there it is. It's it's in there. So uh, I'm reading this stuff along with you guys, so let me take a look since I've never used this program before. Okay, place the center line on the middle of the hips. And you know what? That looks like that's fine. So I don't seem to think there's anything I have to do here. Uh, so yeah, okay, I'm definitely connected. So let's rig the body and see what happens to this. Um, like I said, this is we're, we're all experimenting together. Okay, it put in all the all the different places to rig. Those actually look okay to me. I'm not going to do anything else right at the moment. Um, looks good. So we're going to try to hand rig. Hand rig, number of fingers. There is five. Remember, this is a, a Genesis 8 compatible uh, thing, so we're going to assume it has five, like the Genesis 8 male figure would have. And <laughs> we're doing this. Normally, finger rigging is one of those things that's very difficult for AI programs to do properly, so I wouldn't be surprised if we get some weird... Uh, actually, that looks really good. I don't know that I would change anything with it. I might, I might move this one over, but I'm not actually not going to do anything with this. And then check animation, I guess, is the next step. So now it's okay. So now it's actually doing the the, the weight skinning. It's kind of odd that it says check animation. I would I would think you'd have more something that say skin, but here it's now actually skinning the figure itself. So this is where all the heavy lifting is really coming in. It's actually really fast. I would not have expected it to be that fast. And wow. That looks pretty good. <laughs> That's uh that looks really good. Okay, so let's I you know, I'm I'm stunned. Uh usually this kind of rigging just doesn't work very well. Okay, this is posing, I guess. So we can do this. Okay, well, that was the pose it was in anyway. Let's see what else have we got. Acting? How about acting? Let's try male here. Wow. This uh, this is very impressive. <laughs> I have to admit, I would not have bet a thousand. You could have made a lot of money off of me trying to bet that this wasn't going to work at all. Uh, okay, and there you go. Wow, this is uh, this is very good. The, the 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 people that did that did this, I'm very very impressed. I've used I've used uh, auto rigging from um, wow, I've I've used auto rigging in uh, the uh, Mixamo, 
program, and that often fails. You, I would say it fails more often than it actually works. But this, okay, so that's not animation. Let's see hand stuff. Wow. Okay, he's not really moving his fingers. He's not closing them the same way. So, so maybe that's not as good as it could be. But honestly, yeah, he doesn't. He doesn't seem to close his fingers very. I don't know how to rotate around here. I'm not. I'm, oh, there we go. Actually, those fingers are closed. Okay, they're closed. All right. So. I don't see him actually moving his fingers the same way he's moving them here, though. So maybe there's something wrong with that one. He he seems to close them here. So I don't know. We'd have to see him in some other animations. But in any case, I don't know about you guys, but I am super impressed with this. This is uh, this is unbelievable. Really, really good. And uh, kudos to whoever did this. If this was the real illusion, folks, or if this was done in conjunction with somebody. Uh, Great. Good on you guys. So there you have it. Now, you might say to me, Mike, uh, this doesn't do the facial expressions. And that is true. I don't see anything here to rig faces. I'm looking here. So that could be something that you want to think about. But but I will tell you that as a skin, Groot, uh, this, this Groot skin doesn't do faces. If you look at the examples online from Daz, uh, he doesn't have any facial expressions. So there isn't any advantage in trying to do it any other way because you're not going to get facial expressions. I'm not sure if there's a way to do that, to get facial expressions here, but uh, I, will have to, I will have to check into that, folks. So anyway, there you have it. Actor core, uh, AccuRig. So uh, I know probably those of you that have used this have gone, you know, this is no big deal. But I'm telling you, I'm impressed, and that's the way to handle Groot. So see you on the forums.